everyone. I have a quick card share and a haul to share with you guys for today. Um, I just wanted to show you the card I made for my Halloween swap that, I've, that I'm hosting this month. Um, that was on my Facebook. It is now closed, but I just wanted to share with you what I made. And then um, I'll get to showing you a haul and then just a quick update. So I wanted to make a sidestep card for the first time, and I did. I have no idea how I'm going to show you guys this card. <laughs> Um, okay, I hope you guys can see this okay. This is how the card looks like. It has like a mountain valley type fold and um, it kind of adds dimension as you look like from the front. If you guys can see that pumpkin and everything. Oh my god. I am going to try a different angle. Give me a second. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. I am holding my tripod, so I apologize for any shakiness. So you guys can see how the card looks layered up. So, um, yeah, this card took me a really long time to do. I worked on it, I think, for like over three days, a bit here and there, because I just had so much trouble with the placement of um everything um i really enjoyed this kind of card and i really want to make more but i just had a nightmare with this card so basically i started off with um uh what is this i embossed these like bats which i had i just got this bat stamp and i embossed it with recollections like black glitter and then i took my distress inks and i um in dusty concord and black soot and i kind of went around it and colored the paper in it was like originally a white cardstock and then, um, so then I used my new, uh, what's it called, dies, and I cut out some tombstones. And then this is like two of my new stamps from Saint Petit that I showed in a recent haul. So those are the elements I wanted to use. And I got the fence to work. If you guys can see, if you watch other previous videos, I was having trouble cutting this fence. And I got it cut out, so that's pretty good. Okay, so then what I did was... Um, the way I cut it out was using wax paper, which everybody was telling me to try out, and I did, which I should have done a while ago, because if I had known that this worked perfectly, I wouldn't have bought the metal shim, but whatever. So, um, I cut out the fences in black and gray cardstock. The one over here in the back, if you guys can see that a little bit, um, I took some silver um, acrylic paint and I kind of went over it, so it has like a nice shine to it. Sorry guys, you see that a little? The Basically the technique I did on the tombstone is the exact same thing I did on the fence. Um, and then I took some crackle paint from Tim Holtz and it, because it's so thin, you can't really tell that there's a crackle effect on the fence, but it still made it shiny and a little uh, sturdier, so that's okay. And then, um, yeah, I kind of, I glued everything down and then took everything off. There's like, I ripped it apart basically, but hopefully you can't tell. And so this right here, this like kind of like a vellum look thing, that is actually wax paper. When I cut it, I really liked how it looked with the wax paper. So I actually added some onto the card. Um, what else? I colored in everything with my Copics. I used this, um, my new skull punch. So what I did was I punched out glitter. What am I saying? I punched it out on glitter paper and then on black and I kind of like layered both together so it looks like it's a shadow behind the skull. I used the stamp set trick or treat and I colored like I distressed it with my inks again. And then these are my pumpkins. I love them. They're so cute. And then there's a ghost die cut and then two bat die cuts. And what I did was I, I um, you know, like doubled them up and then this one's like raised. The same thing with the big one over here. And I just added some black and silver glitter glue. And on this one, I used frosted lace um, stickles. So, I wanted to do something fancy for my swap. And I, I think it's fancy. I mean, it's a really cool sidestep card. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put the camera back in its place and show you my haul now. So, I had asked on my Facebook group if people were interested in me putting together a Halloween kit. And my main idea was to use some of the die cuts that I have, like cut out some stuff for everybody that who may not have a die cutting machine or those um, dies in particular. So, um, <clears throat> what I have planned is two types of kits. Um, this is just all early stages, so I'm not really sure if this is how it's going to end up in the end. But what my goal is to have two kits two styles of kits, four of each kit. One is going to be more of like gothic, darker Halloweens with the color schemes of black, 
purple, and silver. And the other one's going to be more of a cutesy kit with orange, um, purples, and greens. So something more fun and cutesy. That was my idea. And so for the gothic one, I'm going to have my die cuts of the... Um, tombstones and then for the cutesy one it's going to be die cuts from my pumpkins my pumpkin dies and then I'm going to have also like I cut out a bunch of these little ones so there's bats and ghosts and they're all going to be for different kits so that was my plan and now I'm trying to like um, find some stuff and trying to put together things I want to put into the kit so I'm thinking of making it something like an embellishment slash card kit um, but you can use it obviously for anything, it doesn't have to be for cards, so um, that was my kind of thinking behind it. I'm having a lot of fun, I'm really excited, and I can't wait for things to be in stores because I just want to shop. Um, and speaking of shopping, I went to Dollarama today, and they had some Halloween stuff out. I went to two Dollaramas actually. So um, some of the things I bought is for me, and also for a swap I'm part of, and just some things I might just cut up and share with other people. So. First things up, I got these ghosts for myself. Um, this guy kind of sold me on it. Look how cute. And then he has a hula hoop. I love this one. I love the candies as well. Like, I really, really like this sticker set. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I got that one. Um, this is not Halloween related, but I found that this was a really cool deal. There's 10 sheets of this alphabet. I don't need 10 of them, but they're really cool. There's so many in here. So I'm going to be gifting some of these away. Um, just so you guys can see, there's every little letter, and it's a perfect size for smaller layouts or small titles or um, like little captions under a picture or even in your smash book. I think the size is kind of really perfect. And then I got these stickers because I couldn't pass up Frankie. I think I saw these last year and I didn't get them, but I don't know. I had a lot of fun using type these type of stickers in my mini album last year, so I figured I'd buy some again. And I just really love Frankenstein's monster, so he's adorable. Um, and then I got these stickers. They're, these are puffy, by the way. I forgot to mention that before. These have really cute pumpkins and a really cute witch hat with a mouse and a black cat. I really like these as well. And then I got these stickers just because I really like the cauldrons and the pumpkin cat head thing. I really like these. The witches are okay. Um, this one's cute. I found these pipe cleaners, which are super cute. I think I may include these in the kit as well, but we'll see. Um, they're really thick. They're bigger than a regular size pipe cleaner. And I don't know, I just kind of want to make a bow. Or like, this is very Tim Burton-y for me. I don't know, like, a really cute border. You can like, on a scrapbook layout or something. Something fun with this. Or even create bows. I just couldn't... Oh yeah, that would be really cute. A little Halloween bow. Maybe another one over here. You got a little Halloween bow. I can pass these up, and if I don't use them on crafts, I think I'm going to use them on uh, decorating something. I can definitely take, buy like a cone, like a styrofoam cone, and then you just wrap these all around them, and you kind of create your own like witch hat. I like the idea of a witch hat, because if you wrap it all over the coin and you put like a black piece of cardstock, you can make your own little witch hat decorations. How cute is that? Or I can wrap these around in my Halloween tree. I don't know. I thought these were really cute. I couldn't pass them up, so I got them. And um, if you guys think this would be cool in a kit, let me know, and I'll definitely add them. I can... That is that. And then there's this one, which I just really love, the orange and purple together. And then I picked up these, <laughs> these stickers, um, mostly because of this ghost right here. Sold me the, on the whole thing. And that moon is cool. I like that pumpkin. I really like them. They're so cute. And then I got these stickers, mostly because of this ghost right here. How cute. And there's some glitter on them. And look at the boo. I loved it. <laughs> there's my kiwi. Um, kiwi, you're on camera. Yeah. And then I got this notepad. I thought it was so cute. There's little pumpkins at the bottom. And um, there's lines and everything. So I thought that was really adorable. The next thing I got is a spider web. Um, organza. I really, I have this myself and I used it last year and I love it. And the cool thing is that you can use both sides. There's a purple side and a, and a silver side. So I really love this. So that is my Halloween haul for today. I'm so excited that stores are finally getting their stuff in. I just cannot wait. I mean, I don't want summer to end, but I'm just really excited to see all the Halloween stuff in stores. It's, if you guys are interested in the kits, they're obviously not going to be available yet because it's still soon. I'm still trying to find products to put into it. But I'm thinking um, it's going to be obviously first come first serve 
because I only have, I'm only making eight because during the winter when I made my December daily embellishment kits, I went all out and um, I, a lot of people bought them but I still had a lot. I went overboard, I kind of overthought it and I did make too many kits and I didn't sell. I think I only sold half of them. So I'm going to, I learned my lesson. So I'm going to just do four kits of each and we'll see from there. I mean, I'm probably going to post them in September. But it's just obviously a um, learning process and I have a lot of fun with it. I really love just shopping around and trying to find things that I that I think you guys would like. So I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll catch you in another video. Bye!